All right, as you can see here, we've got the Eco Battery 70.4 volt, 105 amp hour, combined with the Navitas 5 kilowatt AC motor and the controller and upgraded HD solenoid. So as you can see here, in order to get full drop with the suspension, we had to notch in here. Uh, future plans will be to brace this uh, over the winter time to maintain the structural integrity. Uh, as we come over to the side here, we also had to notch this upper shock mount um, and basically the seat back mounting point. And coming down here, you can see we've got the TXT lowering kit block installed onto the leaf spring. We've removed both helper springs and also cut the rear spring off uh, from the back mount. Um, in order to get the full drop from or out of the block, we also moved the rear shock mount bottom to the middle of the leaf. In the future, the uh, plan is to get some one and a half inch square tube to replace all of this with something more substantial and sturdy uh, as part of the suspension upgrades over the winter. Um, same thing on this side. We didn't need to notch this side because there is no interference with the motor. Um, just to balance out left and right, uh, the spring's been cut. And we have also moved the shock mount onto the middle of what is remaining uh, from the springs. We will go ahead and inflate it right now. I'm just, it's still very slow to inflate. Um, I'm still using the stock sprint, the stock air hose that came with it. Uh, the Monroe MA705 shocks, a uh, very small hose and I'm using a Ryobi inflator to fill it up. So right now it's still pretty slow moving. Um, but you can see here too, clearance we have here on the tire to the wheel well. So as we turn the plate, the pressure builds up. We'll slowly start to see the cart rise. The motor gives way, all the clearance is there. And there you have it. A functioning air suspension on the back of a TXT golf cart with the Navitas AC motor, controller, and eco battery 70.4 volt, 105 amp hour lithium cell.